Okay, so in recent days, we have seen some technical signals that yes, the market is about to trigger another bullish continuation pattern. Of course, if we don't see any surprises after the Fed meeting tomorrow, right? However, so far, the market is still insanely optimistic. So let's see what happens right here, right now. Welcome to the Finance Hydra channel. By the way, my name is Nathan. I'm a retail trader sharing my thoughts and ideas here on my YouTube channel. You are more than welcome here. And uh, as we can see here, SPY is still very optimistic. It is still very bullish. Now you may say, oh, but Nathan, we lost this purple trend line of yours, right? This purple trend line, which is connecting the previous support level since October last year. We just lost it uh, recently, right? Yes, you are totally right. However, a downward breakout of this trend line does not mean bearish reversal. This means that we are losing momentum, but it is not a real reversal yet. Right now, I'm going to move the most important key point that I already described it, uh, in, our, in our previous analysis around $500 and I'm going to move it to the 508 because $508 seems to be the most realistic support level to work with right now only by losing the 508 uh, spy will convince me that yes we are reversing the mid-term trend we are not just making a sideways correction right we are gonna actually reverse if we lose the 508 now you may say nathan why 508 because if we take a closer look at the one hour chart, we see that the, five, the 508 is a quite reliable support level. It did act as a support level one, two, three, four, five, six times in the past. And what's more, what's more, the 508 is very close to the 21 EMA, the exponential moving average on the daily chart as well, making this key point a dual support level. And the only by losing this dual support level, I see SPY correcting, actually reversing the mid-term trend, making a sharper correction possibly on the weekly chart. And uh, honestly, in my humble opinion, SPY deserves a better correction on the weekly chart because the last time we were around, around the 21 MA on the weekly chart was in October last year, right? So it has been a while since we don't see an approximation between 21 exponential moving average and the price, all right? So to me, SPY deserves a correction. Uh, regardless if it is gonna be a sideways or an actual price correction, a real pullback, right? It doesn't matter. In my humble opinion, SPY deserves a better correction. And uh, by losing this purple trend line, okay, we are losing momentum, but uh, we gotta lose the 508 area in order to materialize a sharper correction. That could bring other stocks down as well. Now. Still speaking about the indices, we look at QQQ losing this uh, ascending wedge support level, right? So by losing this support level over here, by making a downwards breakout of this ascending wedge, okay, we are also losing momentum, but QQQ is not actually reversing yet. We got to lose the $434, which just like we saw on SPY, the 434 seems to be a quite realistic support level as well, which has been working one, two, three. Today, today we just retested it for the fourth time right here, right now, and we are making a bullish chart, a bullish candlestick pattern today. So yes, this is a very good bullish reaction, suggesting that we could avoid a sharper correction if we make a decent reaction about this uh, above this support level. I'm so sorry. So yes, these reactions are quite good. They are suggesting us that yes, the indices are still bullish. They are still above their most important support level. So they are going to maintain the bullish bias period. I'm not going to be convinced of a midterm reversal unless if we lose these key points. Now, tomorrow, tomorrow we have Fed meeting, right? And this could be a major catalyst for us if after tomorrow we see the indices losing their support levels that could bring a sharper correction on the weekly chart but uh, so far so good the situation is still under control there is no use in trying to predict what's going to happen next how the market is going to behave next if you try to do that this is gonna drive you crazy the market's gonna be an extremely stressful environment for you to work with and uh well 
it is not gonna do any good for you and for your health so this is why i always tell you guys trading is reactive it is not predictive there is no use trying to predict what's going to happen next let's just try to react accordingly to what to what we see right here right now and if you ask me nathan what do you see right here right now on tesla stock i see a good bullish reaction above a critical support level 164 right we are making a very good reaction above this support level because guys by losing the 164 the next support level is around 152 right and uh below the 152 well uh, te technically speaking technically speaking there is the 100 dollars support level right we do have a few gaps over here but uh, honestly if we lose the 150s the 100 dollars is going to be the next technical target on tesla stock and uh, right now we are making a bullish reaction above the 164 good we are trying to avoid a sharper bearish correction over here all right or better saying a bearish continuation chart structure because tesla has been bearish unlike spy unlike unlike qqq it is clearly bearish now what it takes for tesla to actually frustrate reject this bearish sentiment over here considering that we just reached a support level on the daily chart 164 and considering that we are around the support level of this descending channel on the weekly chart over here well i do believe that right here right now would be the perfect time for us to see a meaningful bullish reaction preferably preferably if if this week or maybe even next week we close above this candlesticks high over here from march 11 week right from last week which is last week's high to be more specific uh 182 dollars if we break the 182 rejecting this bearish candlestick pattern over here i do see a very strong bullish candlestick pattern on the weekly chart suggesting a very nice bottom signal above a support level this is gonna be a very good chart movement to analyze a very good technical evidence pointing towards a recovery here on tesla stock of course long term speaking we are still bearish right we are still making lower highs lower lows we are still inside this descending channel but by making a very a very good crystal clear bottom signal above the support level of this descending channel that would be a very good thing right that would be the first step for tesla to take in order to actually reverse this bearish sentiment over here right and this is what honestly if you ask me i do believe that would be the ideal right that would be the ideal scenario because tesla already already dropped it too much since the previous top level over here since december since december last year when we reached the resistance line of this descending channel from the previous top we have dropped roughly 35 percent since then right so we already dropped it just too much if you ask me and right now tesla deserves a better recovery just like i think just like i think the indices deserve a sharper correction as well right so this is quite crazy but uh, well this is it is what it is right and as we can see right here right now tesla is trying to react above a crystal clear support level now if you ask me nathan is this a buy signal well i don't know there are plenty of strategies you can use right here on tesla you can buy you can short you can do anything there is no right and wrong over here unless unless if you trade without a plan never buy anything without having an idea of where your stop loss should be and where your target should be right so always always have these goals always have these key points in mind before trading and if you ask me there are some strategies we can use right here on tesla and i always share my strategies on our telegram channel so sub so join our telegram channel the qr code is right here on the left corner of your screen and the fixed comment below join us over there because you have seven days free we nailed many bottom signals on many stocks so far and you can join us over there now nvidia is insanely bullish right we try it to retest the 21 ma on the daily chart however we are already reacting this is very good on the weekly chart just like spy and qqq deserve a correction 
I do believe that Nvidia could easily correct as well. However, in the lack of technical evidence suggesting that we could correct to lower levels, well, Nvidia will probably just continue to go up because we are in a bull trend. And honestly, since we are in a bull trend, pullbacks are nothing more than buying opportunities at a better price level at a discount when the risk reward ratio is more interesting. So right here, right now, seeing Nvidia closer to the 21 email on the, on the daily chart, well, this is a very good thing. This is a very healthy movement over here. It is a sideways correction, just like we see on SPY and QQQ. And this is it. It is still very bullish. Yes, it is making a sideways correction, but it is still very bullish. When we look at at. Today, today we see AMD, which is one of your favorite stocks, right? I know that. And the AMD is correcting sharply more than 4% right now. We are above, above, I'm so sorry. We are around the previous top level area, around uh, $184. We are slightly below this key point over here. If you ask me, now is the best time for AMD to react. Just like Nvidia is around its support level, I do believe that since AMD is around its own support level as well, it also deserves a bounce over here. However, there is no confirmation of a bottom signal yet. To me, we should close above the 184.92 cents, all right? We gotta close above this resistance area in order to trigger a decent bottom signal. And the Palantir, which is another very popular stock is trying to make a hammer candlestick pattern today, right? We see a previous bottom level over here. We are making a decent reaction. Could this be a buy signal? Yes, it could. However, you must have a crystal clear strategy, all right? Always follow a good strategy because if you don't, you, are, you, will never, you will never achieve consistency. You gotta have your own edge around this market, right? So you gotta have something in order to trade properly. This is why, again, join our Telegram channel and of course, subscribe this channel if you are new around here because I'm here every single day sharing a few thoughts, a few ideas on SPY, QQQ, Tesla, NVIDIA and other stocks as well. So join our trading community. I highly appreciate your audience, my dear friends. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Bye-bye.